What's up guys, Derek Stark back with another video. My apologies for the hiatus this summer. I uh, needed to take a little time off, uh, but I plan to be back producing more content as school gets rolling here at the University of Kansas. And I appreciate all of you who reached out to me and encouraged me and asked about my videos and uh, you genuinely showed that you cared, which gives me the motivation to continue making these videos. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump right into it here and Today what I'm going to be talking about is progress and betterment and it's something that has been stirring around in my brain for quite a while now and a lot of you who maybe follow me on other socials know that I am very much so into this motto of 1% better and I'm going to try to kind of break that down for you today and start off with a little, little story. So uh, my grandpa, one of my best friends, uh, just one of the dearest, kindest souls uh, I've ever met in my life. He's 91 years old, and this past Sunday we found out that he has he had colon cancer. Um, so Monday he went in for uh, surgery, and it was a really tough process for him. And it really, you know, it knocked him out. He's 91, and he already wasn't in very good shape to begin with. Um, and so Tuesday I called to check in on him and found out that and he's struggling with pneumonia. Post-surgery pneumonia happens a lot with older individuals and uh, I talked to my dad yesterday and and you know he kind of said you know it's a flip of a coin whether he even makes it through the week and uh, with just starting the semester here at KU is extremely tough but it, it's not about me it's about him like I don't want my grandpa in pain I want him to to either pull through or, or move on and, and he's lived a great great life but yeah I, I got done with with class and work today and I called the hospital back home in Wisconsin and I asked for Carol Treloff's room, and, and he picked up the phone, and I was like, Grandpa, and he's like, Derek, and, and I could hear the life back in his voice that, that wasn't there when we talked earlier this week, and, and we just talked for, for five minutes, and just about the Packers and Brewers and, and the typical things that we talk about, and, and I asked him, like, how, how are you doing, Grandpa, and, and he's like, you know, uh, I'm feeling better, and I, I just, I just got to keep getting better, slowly but surely, and uh and that just resonated with me so much because that's that's really what I'm always talking about. And that's kind of what I preach. Right. You know, it's I think it's really dangerous to to look so far into the future and and say that, you know, I, I want to be the athletic director at the University of Wisconsin. Um, and then five years from now, I'm not the athletic director and I get discouraged and I feel upset or. Or maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe you want to lose 50 pounds and and it's been a couple months and you've only lost two pounds and you're like, ah, there's no way I can do this. But the thing is, if every single day we get 1% better, there's this thing called the compounding effect. And as we get 1% better Tuesday and 0.2% better on Wednesday and 1.3% better on Thursday, you know, this gradual progress, you can't see it every morning when you wake up and look in the mirror or you look at your bank account or, or you check your job title. But in due time, this is going to compound and lead to you achieving the goals that you've set out to achieve. And, you know, it's a common cliche, but it really is all about the journey. It's about the process, not the destination, because once you get to the destination, think about how much life has gone by, right? So I want to become a millionaire someday, and maybe I'll become a millionaire at 87, but if I'm so eager to become a millionaire that I want to just jump straight to 87 and skip out on the other 61 years that I have between now and then, uh, that kind of sucks. That's like 60% of my life, if not more, right? So so I just want to encourage you all to just start building some momentum, right? You, you want to start your own business and get out of a nine to five? We'll start spending an hour every night or wake up an hour earlier in the morning and, and start figuring out a game plan. Set some action steps that are going to help you ultimately get to where you need to be because, you know, if, if we expect to go zero to 100, we're setting ourselves up for failure and disappointment. But if you trust the process, if you play the long game, I know that each and every one of you can can achieve what you're setting out to do. And, and you just got to drudge through the drudgery, right? It's just like working out, you know, you, you hit those plateaus, but then you kind of switch things up a little bit. And the next thing you know, you're starting to see results and, and it's all trial and error and just learning and, and growing and, 
and just uh, becoming 1% better every single day. So, hey, that's all I got for you today. I'll be back soon with another video. If you have any topics you want me to touch on, please feel free to comment below. Uh, shoot me an email, starkd at ku.edu. Follow me on other socials. I really appreciate you all. Thank you for your ears. Have a wonderful rest of your week.